<clears throat> this is a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, yeah, it's going to be you versus them reading Taurus for June. So I've already done the cards for you, but we'll do them again. We'll do you on the left and we'll do your person on the right. But if you want to swap it over, you can. Any point during the reading, like to and for it. It might move about. And if you're watching for a Taurus, it could be to do with you and not to do with the Taurus, if you get what I mean. So, yeah. So don't sit there thinking the other person says they're a Taurus and it's your story, you're the one on this side. Just swap that over. Right, okay. So, we'll begin. So, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. If you resonate with this video at all, uh, drop me a comment down below. Like and share this video. And also, um, subscribe if you haven't already, because it helps my channel. All right, we'll begin. So I'll put the cards out and we'll go through them. And then bottom of the pile is the Knight of Wands, overall energy. So, with this, I'm saying, um, Taurus, that <laughs> you and your person could be like out playing the field a bit. Or that could be an issue between one of you. But somebody, the Knight of Wands is my player card. It's my in and out energy. It's party. I mean, she's having a party. That's the overall energy. So maybe you and your person at the moment aren't connecting, or you're both doing the same thing, going out meeting other people, having fun, living that life. <laughs> so what is the um, energy of your relationship between the two of you at the moment is a hermit card. So yeah, you've taken time away from each other probably, and you're taking time to have like peace and quiet, think about things, or party, <laughs> one of the two, okay? So, yeah, but the Hermit card, the card of Virgo, but it's, yeah, it's taking time apart. It's taking time to shine a light on stuff, so maybe you're investigating stuff. Maybe you're medicating slightly in between the partying. <laughs> Where's that card? But, um... Okay, so you're... Your mental state on this relationship at the moment is the four cups. So you feel that even if you offered something, this person wouldn't even accept it at the moment. It's how you feel. Like there's no point. Um, like it's over. Like you've just kind of almost like you've given up a little bit on this relationship, Taurus. Um, yeah, with the four cups there. Your person's mental state is the nine of pentacles. Your person feels single. In their mental state, they're feeling single. They're going out, having the, living, doing their thing, uh, living their best life, having fun, partying, doing that stuff. And you're, you're not quite in the same energy as that because you're more, just don't see any point. Probably you feel this person has done that. Emotionally, Taurus, you're feeling like um, the chariot card. You've actually made a choice now to move forward with something. You're, you're moving forward with with your emotional state, you're moving forward. So emotionally, you're kind of get, you are kind of giving up, really, in a way. Um, yeah. And then we've got um, their emotional state, the two of swords. So your person is not making a choice between other things. Maybe other people are talking to them, which is keeping them blindfolded. But your person is not making a choice either between another person or another thing. There's something that stops them. When we clarify, we'll find out more. Um, but yeah, they're not making a choice about something. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So, the next card you've got is what you have to offer this relationship. And what you have to offer is family life. What, what you have to offer this person is a relationship, is marriage, is, is union, is everything else doesn't mean you are though. The, your person your person's facing backwards towards you and your person doesn't seem to have anything to offer you because your person's working on their own stuff okay 
with her back towards you, you see, looking at her money, doing her money, doing her own thing. Um, okay, so what your fear is about this relationship, what needs fixing, what your fear is, is sending messages, passionate messages. So I suppose your fear is that this person, maybe your fear is that this is you sending messages to this person. And this person's fear is that you're their blessing. That, that you know, that you're their blessing, yeah. Your person's fear in that you are the one and they're, and they're ignoring it, maybe. And the overall energy of this relationship, if this is the way it carries on, is is the Five of Pentacles. Is um, he's feeling left out in the cold. He's feeling like you've, you know, that you, the other one and you, you haven't, maybe feeling like you haven't put the effort in and you don't get the rewards. But I'll clarify, it's not a wand. Maybe whoever. Maybe there's somebody in this relationship who who's been having doing the living a player life, maybe doing their own thing. Why have we got this Knight of Wands for the overall energy? That card actually jumped out at the very end when I was just finishing on shuffling. Yeah, independence. It's almost like you, uh, the Queen of Swords, she will cut things out if they are right. But it's like being very, on this card it says independence. It's like you're both, maybe you've been together for a while and you want independence from each other. Yeah. Maybe somebody feels an, a loss of abundance as well. There's loss there on abundance. And maybe they're feeling very sensitive about such things. Taurus, there could be a water sign, it could be Taurus. Could be Taurus, could be <laughs> Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. But this person is very sensitive about this loss. Maybe they've took a loss. Maybe they don't feel that they uh, have enough. Why have we got the Hermit as um, the overall energy of the relationship? I feel like you've both just gone with me. You're not, maybe you're not even speaking with this person at the moment. Oh, these cards don't really, they're not moving. Uh, yeah, you feel like they, this person's, you both feel like you're each other's support, but you feel like there's, there needs to be a resolution to this, whatever's going on. Yeah, because there's no trust. Probably there's no trust on either side, which is probably what's making you both go out and do what you're doing. Yeah. And I feel like this could have, this could have caused heartbreak between the two of you. Yeah. On something that could have even been at home. Um, but there's been an ending to the situation. With the death card, though, it's not always an ending that never begins again, but it's something needs transforming in this relationship, probably. Well, I've got the four of cups as Taurus's mental state. I feel like your person's feeling like they've kind of somehow got further down the road than you on this, Taurus. Maybe it's been going on a while. Yeah. You're feeling very restricted, like you can't come forward towards this person. And you feel like this person's your comfort, Taurus. That is your own card, the, the Queen of Pentacles. But you, I feel like in your mental state, you're feeling like um, you've got restrictions. Your person could also be a Virgo Capricorn or Taurus. But yeah, you feel you feel like this restriction is on your, is on your home. And maybe it could be to do with your past as well. Maybe from past situations. Maybe to do with children, there's two dolphins in the back there. Maybe there's a judgment on that, on two families between you and another person. Um, why does your person have the nine of pentacles? Maybe your person went off to have a, towards a friendship, towards something who, maybe somebody who was a friend, maybe they were a friend of yours. But yeah, to have a new beginning with the full card there. They thought that would be more lucky towards them, maybe mentally. Because they could be happy with the sun card. They could also be a Leo. The Fools and the Aquarius, I think. Doesn't have to be any of them signs, though. But somebody who thought they'd wear, they were going towards something new. Why well, have we got the Two of Swords as towards this person's emotion? Yeah. They were very determined, I feel. Because they felt like they were being tested. Um... 
Maybe they went towards a fire sign, maybe they are a fire sign, but it says it, they, they went towards something they thought was creative. The sun card is also a Leo, and Leo is normally the queen of wands as well. Um, but yeah, maybe this person's had an ending with this person, and maybe they're now having new journeys. Uh, maybe they're, they're not, yeah, they're reflecting at the moment. Maybe they're a Virgo, but they're in reflection about something. They're shining a light on stuff. Maybe they're shining a light on your two's relationship. Okay, why has Taurus got the, char the chariot card? Yeah, you're moving away. You've made a decision in your mind to move away from drama. You want freedom from this devil energy. Maybe you've used some magic or maybe you're manifesting something. Maybe you're manifesting away from this indifference. You've got four cups twice on your side. Yeah, from someone having choices. Someone who... Oh, I feel like it could be a water sign. You've got Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. I've got Cancer in my head. But yeah, someone who should have given you a commitment. Somebody had choices and somebody should have... In your emotions, I feel like that's why you feel like you've got to move away. Because this person did that. And what you what you had to offer this relationship with the four of wands, you were offering this person everything. Yeah. Three of cups celebration. You were offering them, you know, I feel like you may have offered them to come home. Maybe they didn't because they're not looking at you. Yeah, decisions though. Did you need to make decisions on this? I'm gonna swap my cards quickly. Um Okay, so why has Taurus got the um, Decisions card? Maybe this person took the choice away from you. Yeah, strength. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. But it took you a lot of strength, a lot of, like, I feel like you had to get out of your emotions and get very grounded. Use your strength. Yeah, from heartbreak. So they broke your heart. Queen of Fire. Fire sign broke your heart, I feel. Okay, could have been an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Someone very psychic, but someone who knew what they were doing as well. Yeah, and the Hermit again. Could have been a Virgo. But somebody went within, somebody went quiet. Somebody shut the door, basically, in the face, Taurus. Okay, why has Taurus's person got the eight of... Yeah, somebody who has a lot of money as well, somebody who was sort of, it could have been somebody older with the King of Earth. Yeah, somebody who I feel withdrew from you. Could be a Virgo, because you've got Virgo over here. Uh, Taurus or Cancer, not Cancer, Taurus or Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but yeah, I feel like what this person has to offer, they might actually offer you an, a, a message of apology. But I feel like this person, yeah, they might offer you, they might come in and offer you this abundance. Because you've got the Ace of Earth there. After a transformation, after this ending, maybe they knew it had to end completely to begin again. Or maybe they learned something with this fire energy that hurt them. So there's definitely a, a fire energy. Maybe you learned about this, Taurus. Yeah, they felt like they were drowning in emotions. But now they feel like almost like they've got the Ten of Pentacles. They've got the money, they've got everything, but they're on their own. And they're, they're a bit pissed off, I feel. Oh, and these cards flew. Yeah, they kind of, maybe they've been told by somebody about what this is. Or maybe they've worked it out. But they've kind of gained control of their emotions with the Queen of Water. Like they've, it could be a water sign, but it, it's like they've meditated on it. They've, they've gone within, they've, they've dug deep. Yeah, and then you've got the king and queens. So you're meant to be together. You're meant to be. You know this is your person. They know it's you. But they had you in a fair part. And there was a veil that covered it all up. I feel, Taurus. Like, it was hidden. Like, if you look at that, she's behind her, if you can see. I don't know if you can. But behind her, she's got a whole village, a whole city. But you can't see it. It's under a veil. So it's like, you, they could have a whole other life and you know nothing about. Yeah. But they know, Taurus, you're going to want this truth. You've got you've got a lot of people in this reading. You've got pe a lot of people on your side, and then they've got a lot of people on their side. There's, like, a lot going on. <laughs> we've got, like, all the signs out. We've got, we've got air signs. We've got water signs. We've got 
fire sign it's, it's like there's a lot of people you could have people on both your sides you could have people coming back from your past so could this person but there's a lot going on there's a lot yeah there's a lot well, i'm going to clarify your eight of wands why you're scared of messaging this person yeah, you're up at night about this in your head. You probably want to send messages of passion. You're probably writing things and then and then not doing it. Like almost getting rid of it. Yeah, can't make a decision. You know, you 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 hold secrets to us. The stuff that's gone on. I don't think it's just your person. I feel like you both have like passed and the stuff gone on and yeah, you want to move away from something as well. I wouldn't be surprised if you and them have both had other starts with other people that haven't worked out. Um, okay, why have we got the Nine of Cups for towards this person? This person knows you're their blessing. Yeah, but you, this tower, they're scared of this tower. They're scared of these illusions and lies on their side. They're scared about illusions and lies, maybe even about a fire sign. It's definitely about their love for you, though, that they hold. It could be a fire sign that holds love. You may have been with this person a lot. You may have had lots of burdens. But this person's got these illusions on their side. Look, two of cups, two of pentacles. They've got illusions all hidden in the background as well. So you both got it. There's, there's a... You both got it, yeah. You want? They want a new beginning with you. Yeah, but they had their people. They were... They felt like you left them out in the cold as well. But they know you're there to a cup. They feel like you've left down the cold, but they feel like you're there to a cup. They're manifesting you too. You're manifesting each other. But you both hurt each other. It's, it's not just one-sided on this reading tour. There's a lot, too many people on both sides. Yeah, you need to find trust again. Trust. Trust your feelings and your dreams. And then spiritual teacher, you and your person, you heal with the classes and sessions and seminars. You need to learn more Taurus, like on a spiritual level. Maybe that's why you and this person have gone on this mad journey. Maybe this has been quite a mad journey. You're seeing the situation accurately, that you've both done it to each other. Persistence, yeah. Health and healing. And see the other person's point of view. I feel like you could be being quite righteous, even though you've not exactly, when you look at it really properly, you've not exactly been, you know, an angel. My outer experience are the reflection of my internal condition. And then you've got, my capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need. When I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when it's time, when I, when I am lost, sorry. Oop. Get a chakra one and then we'll do, I don't know, find a couple more. Okay, so we got enlightenment. Yeah, I feel like you've gone for this for a reason. It's been so horrible for reasons. I think this has been horrible. Service and perseverance. Maybe you've had to learn, learn it, both of you. I'll get you one of these ones. Yeah, you need to cut cords, maybe doing meditation to cut cords. And you got you are profoundly clairvoyant. Uh, trust in what you see in your mind's eye, as well as within your physical sight, your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching and guidance. I think you and your person are both pretty spiritual and I feel like you both, um, yeah, kind of on an ascending, I don't know, some description. I think a lot of people are at the moment. Comes out quite spiritual reading. Yeah, wish upon a star, make a wish and expect the very best. Right, I feel like you both need to end a lot of things on each side, cut a lot of cords. And then maybe you stand a chance. Anyway, I'm probably going to call it that. Something like that anyway. Anyway, Taurus, take care of yourselves and uh, catch you soon. Bye.